Well, it's happening. The election season has left disaster in its wake, and right now it's on our doorstep as veterans. This affects essentially every single one of us in more ways than we would think. I'm talking about the delays that we are experiencing to the $360 billion budget to the Veterans Affairs this upcoming year. I'm gonna tell you how this could affect you, what's played out in the past, and ultimately, what to do about it. I'm Jordan Anderson, VA Claims Academy. Let's get to it. The proposed $360 billion budget for the VA this upcoming year has hit a screeching halt. And this is going to cover certain things like infrastructure, you know, revitalizing a lot of these old rundown hospitals that you see, hirings, getting rid of that backlog. There have been times where the backlog has been extended due to lack of, you know, manpower in these staffing positions or not being able to backfill these positions due to budget constraints. This could even affect certain things like expanding healthcare services or even VA disability inclusivity like the PACT Act, which is set to expand by 21.5% to cover new toxins. We talked about in a previous video how that could potentially be jet fuel explicitly, things like this. Burn pits, of course, already covered. But this is a big deal because if you're someone you receive VA disability benefits or, or you go to the VA hospital or even you're a spouse of a veteran, this absolutely impacts you and affects you. Here's what's going on. President Joe Biden on Monday threatened to veto the House's $360 billion appropriations plan for the VA next year over restrictions on abortion and gender affirming care services included in the measure, accusing lawmakers of, quote, wasting time with partisan bills, according to militarytimes.com, along with a 10% boost in overall funding for the VA programs and operations. 10% boost. The House Republicans' appropriations plan includes language blocking the VA medical staff from conducting abortions or providing gender-affirming care, end quote. In a statement released by the White House, the article continues, officials blasted the appropriations bill as, quote, harming access to reproductive health care, threatening the health and safety of LGBTQI plus Americans, endangering marriage equality, hindering critical climate change initiatives, and preventing the administration from promoting diversity, equity, and inclusion, end quote. Now, wherever you line up on this argument, and by the way, sound off below on what you think about this. Keep it respectful. I know you will. Uh, it's just unfortunate that because it's around election time, that any routine sort of approval has to become this big deal because there's talking points on both sides and it has to be this performative ordeal. So again, uh, us veterans are, are sort of caught in the crossfire, unfortunately, but the VA needs this funding and more importantly, the VA needs to be effective with this funding. We need to be more efficient with how this funding is being applied and not, you know, giving the executives bonuses on accident. According to another MilitaryTimes.com article, quote, Veteran Affairs Secretary Dennis McDonough on Tuesday acknowledged, he's quoting now, a series of massive mistakes, end quote, in the improper awarding of about $11 million of incentive bonuses to senior department officials last year. Now, all of this is happening, and I'll just give you my neutral opinion here. I'm not going to give an opinion on uh, the controversial topics here, you know, obviously, but what I do hear from veterans every single day when I speak to them is that their most important issues seem to be the toxic exposure, getting their cancers, getting their um, you know, ailments that they may have gotten caused from jet fuel, things like this in their service, where they were told, hey, suck it up, buttercup, don't go to medical, we'll take care of you down the line. And now they're struggling to get service connected for these conditions. It's almost as if the VA doesn't believe them, right? Like they're making it up. These seem to be the more important issues that should sort of be tackled and reformed in this process. I'm talking about the backlog as well, waiting half a year for your claims, waiting 1,000 days plus for your appeal in order to get a hearing. These are sort of the pain points that, I, that at least the veterans that I speak to on a daily basis are experiencing. And here is the real world impact of that. I'll leave you with this final quick story. About three and a half weeks ago, got a call from a client and he called a certain emergency hotline 
the type that you call when you need help immediately. They referred him to his local VA emergency room. He got there and was turned away to outside services. Sorry, we don't have a bed for you. That's the type of thing that needs to be fixed, and it needs to be fixed now. I hope they can get it done. Hey, I hope this video was helpful. It's election time. Right now is the time to make your voice heard. If you agree with this message, share it out. Get this conversation started. Get the dialogue started about down below. Again, keep it respectful. I know you will. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.